Hey, what's up guys, it's Girl Hands, and I'm showcasing, well actually that's, that's probably <laughs> bad terminology, I am begrudgingly showing you my very first multiplayer match in Halo 4. And before I get into my initial impressions of the game, I have a couple announcements for you. Uh, for one, you probably have noticed, if you're paying attention to the YouTube channel, that I have been uploading a ton of the Road to Commander series videos on the YouTube page. And the reason for that is after Tuesday, once Black Ops 2 is released, I'm going to be done with that series. So I'm not going to be uploading any more Road to Commander series after Tuesday. That also means that I've got a lot of videos that I need to upload between now and then. I'm done with the series, obviously, and I think my combat record reports that I've got somewhere around 113 games played, I think, total. But that also doesn't count the games where the host dashboards or quits. And there, I'm not even paying attention. I get assassinated. I love those animations in the game, by the way. It's a great way to troll somebody. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, I think in total, including the games where people dashboard, I'm sitting somewhere in the ballpark of like 117 games. And I don't know what I'm doing here. I thought that was a lift, but apparently that's the top of it. So here I am like a dumbass jumping over and over again. Uh, so yeah, I, I've got to upload a lot of videos. And also, I really want to get to the final play session because that's actually done a little bit differently uh, versus the remainder or the majority of the play session. And I had a lot of fun doing that, so I really want to get to that play session. Uh, what else? I'm also in the middle of building a new PC. And one of the things I'm really excited about is I'm getting the Avery Media HD game capture card. I don't know the exact title, but uh, it's a it's a, you know an inline game capture card. I'm done using this HD PVR. It's a good good device, but uh, I want to try streaming a little bit. And the big thing is I also want to be able to put up some PC games. Uh, that's one of the things that uh, I think is kind of missing from the channel. I know this channel has been predominantly console games, but I'd really love to showcase some console or console some PC games as well. I, I might try playing League of Legends. I'm horrible at that game though, so I don't know, and I also only play support, so I don't know how entertaining that would be. Uh, but if you've never seen the game before, I think it's a good opportunity to see what the game is like. Uh, what else? I'd love to throw up some Battlefield 3 videos. Now I know that that game's been out for a year, but oh, that, it's amazing on PC, and I'd love to showcase <laughs> or show off a lot of the different aspects of that game, because that is a ton of fun. And I really regret not playing that game sooner. I mean, it's okay on, on console, but when you play it on PC, and I've got a, a sh I'm playing it right now on a, on a shitty Mac running Windows, and it still looks better than, <laughs> than anything I've played on Xbox. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun playing that. So I'll let you know how the uh, the capture card works. I'll let you know my opinions. I think the only negative I've heard about the capture card is sometimes the audio desyncs with the video, but you can fix that real easily. You just get some video editing software, realign it, and you're just fine. If that's the only problem it has, then I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah. Pretty soon, in the next probably month or so, I'll, I'll start rolling out PC gameplay. Uh, so what else do I have to say? Um, no, that's about it. Yeah, yeah, let's get into the Halo 4 gameplay. Obviously, by now, you guys probably know that I'm, I'm pretty pretty bad at this game. And just, just to be fair, I don't have a lot of experience with it. I don't dislike Halo. I just It never really resonated with me, so I never put a whole lot of time into the game or into the franchise. I think... Combat Evolved, I played for all of about a day. Uh, what else? Then there was um, Halo 2, I played for maybe a month. Halo 3, I actually played. That's, that is the one title in the series I played the most of. I think I put maybe three or four months into the game. I had a lot of fun playing it, and then Call of Duty 4 came around. And I loved Call of Duty 4, so that, that's when Halo 4 just <laughs> dropped off. Or not, not Halo 4. That's when Halo 3 completely dropped off, and I never played it again. And then Halo Reach I played for uh, a couple weeks. I, I wasn't really a big fan of that game. I did like the firefight though, and I did like what is it, the big the big team I forgot what it was called. It was it wasn't just big team, it was like it was different stages. I actually liked that game mode a lot, where you'd have an, an objective and then you'd have to go to another objective. It was kinda like Similar to Battlefield's Rush, but the objective would change each stage. But uh, other than that, yeah, I don't have a lot of experience with Halo, and somebody's at the door, so give me one second. Sorry about that, I actually had to help my wife bring in some groceries and be a good husband and not be a deadbeat sitting around playing video games. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I'm horrible at the game. Yeah, like I said, I'm pretty bad. I think right before this match, I changed up my configuration and there's a situations where I could melee somebody instead like I zoom in or I reload so yeah you're gonna have to forgive me I'm really bad at the game and the other thing is if I'm just to let you guys know my initial impressions obviously I don't know all the minute details when comparing like say Halo 3 versus this game or Halo 2 in this game I, I don't really know I know some of the difference differences implemented like they removed bloom 
uh, versus Halo Reach, but all in all, like, uh, <laughs> I can't really go into the nitty gritty details. Uh, so what can I comment on the game? Uh, I do, uh, and the things I like is it does feel much, much faster than all the other Halos. I think automatically everybody has Sprint, uh, which I, I believe is a new feature. I know Sprint was implemented in previous Halos, but everybody has Sprint across the board. What else can I talk about? Um, oh yeah, the controls are absolutely amazing, but that is kind of to be expected with a Halo title. I think Call of Duty and Halo are kind of considered the pinnacle when it comes to console controls, and that's, you know, the case here. They work very well. I have heard, I, I can't really confirm this, because like I said, I don't have a whole lot of experience <laughs> in Halo Reach, but I've heard some people say that this game's controls are much more responsive versus Halo Reach. You don't feel as sluggish uh, as opposed to that game. I think you jump a little bit higher versus Halo Reach, so... I don't really notice the difference, but regardless, the controls work very, 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 very well. What else can I comment on? Um, I don't know if I've called it in yet, but there are there's a couple things that they borrowed from Call, Call of Duty. For one, they have something called ordnance streaks, or I don't know what it's called exactly. It's something to do with ordnance, but when you get a certain number of kills and assists, that little, you see the cube with, on the left-hand corner and there's a bar around it. Whenever that fills up, you can call in an ordnance streak. And that allows you to call anything from like a shield boost to a damage boost to new grenades or a power weapon. Uh, the catch though is you don't immediately get it. You call it in, you have to pick it up. So that leaves you kind of vulnerable for a little bit, like a, like a care package in Call of Duty. Although it happens much, much faster. And I've yet to be killed while trying to pick up one of my ordinances. But I mean, there is a possibility that, you know, you could call in an ordinance, someone can kill you and can steal it from you. But uh, I think that's probably fairly rare. So that's one thing they kind of borrow from Call of Duty. Also, I think it's it's in this game mode and maybe a couple other game modes as well, but or it might be just limited to this game mode, but you can respawn instantly. Typically in a lot of the Halo titles, you have like a five second delay, but for some reason you just automatically respawn like you do in Call of Duty. There's also kill streaks like Call of Duty. And I guess if, I, if I'm going to gripe about something, maybe it's because the network's having problems, but I noticed that the, the kill streaks really don't seem to follow what's actually happening. Like sometimes the guy who kills me, he's shooting, he's not really hitting me, but I still die on his screen. Uh, maybe that's because I have really shitty internet. I don't know, but uh, I guess if I'm going to gripe about something, that's one of the things I'm kind of nitpicking on is that the kill cams aren't 100% accurate. Uh, what else uh, that I really liked? Um, I said the pacing was faster because of sprint. Uh, yeah, it, it, it is interesting they brought in stuff that's kind of similar to Call of Duty. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I do believe they have other playlists that are completely bare bones. They don't have all this stuff. They have they, they brought back armor abilities. And they also have perks. So some of the perks, like you can increase, you can have unlimited sprint, you can reload your gun and swap weapons faster, um, you can recharge your shield when it's down uh, faster than before. And you have the armor abilities. My personal favorite right now is the Jet Thruster, which kind of works like the Jet Pack, except you move laterally, and it's just a quick burst. It allows you to, like, evade a grenade that's at your feet. Uh, a couple of situations, people try to assassinate me, so I Jet Thrust behind them and, and kill them. So I really like that ability. Um, they have, like, Prometheus... Uh, what is it called? Prometheus? I don't even know what it is. I need to look it up. It's something Prometheus or, or I don't know. Uh, but it's a vision that allows you to see through walls. I haven't tried it yet. Um, a lot of little different perks. Again, I don't think that's in the Slayer Pro. I think that's like bare bones. And the other thing which people might not be a big fan of is they don't have the ranking system. I believe they're going to bring it in later, but it's not in there yet. But those are my thoughts. I'm absolutely loving this game. I'm going to go back to playing it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And like always, take it easy.